Let's do a Kundalini prayer exercise together. It's a very simple one. Elevated prayer is the name of this type of exercise. Some of you might be uncomfortable with prayer because you might think it's sort of all old fashioned songs of praise, old school Christianity, deracinated, not connected to the true reality of your mighty soul. Well, I feel that what we're going to do here is connect to the true purpose of prayer, i.e. Awaken inner integrity. Awaken the divine within you. Connect to the divine without you. Recognize that the categories of within and without are arbitrary categories that are only relevant to temporal, arboral, eight creatures such as we inhabit in this body temporarily. So, this one. Sit comfy like I'm sitting now. Put the palms together, very important this, that you put the right thumb over the left thumb, like that with your hands, and then you'll stretch your hands above your head as high as you can, right? And you notice that if I press my palms together, that my arms start to touch my head. It's a bit of an effort to stay like this. You might find it difficult, but what? <laughs> it's life challenging, or like, is everything going well? But if everything's going well, we don't need to do nothing. But if you need to make some changes, you can start by making a bit of effort to keep your palms flat. And the hands are like, I mean, I know I'm not going to like it. I can tell already it's going to be tough to stay like this for three minutes. And that's how long we're going to keep our hands like this. Now, while we're doing it, we're going to inhale nasally. And we're going to have our eyes just one tenth open. Like sometimes you just bring your attention to your nose just so you don't sort of stare around all weird, you know? So keep eyes one tenth open. Roughly direct your attention at your nose. Oh man, that's intense already. And you inhale nasally and you chant a mantra. Now this is where you get a little bit of free will. The one I'm going to be chanting is Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. We only say it once on the exhalation, right? So it's inhale. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, with the hands up like that. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. We're going to put some other mantras in the link you can look at. Hopefully you're watching this on YouTube on my Awakening channel where you get free meditation and well-being and personal development stuff free four or five times a week. So make sure that you subscribe to that. Turn on the notification bell because who wants in a piece? You want a bell clanging in your mind, why don't you? Om Namah Shivaya. Other options, that old classic, Om Shanti, which means peace of mind, ease of heart, serenity, tranquility. Om Shanti, you could do that if you want. So hum, expansion and connection. Oh, that is a lovely principle. So hum. And I'm going with, because I've never done this mantra before, even though it's one of the classics. This is a classic mantra, this. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. But remember, only once, Russell, on the exhalation, and then this one, other beauty, I heard David Lynch say this one time, Jai Guru Dave, Jai Guru Dave, wisdom, clarity, humility, and love to the teacher, the teacher within you, the teacher that taught you, and the God that is all those things coming through. And then Ram, Rama, 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 that means devotion and courage. Those are your options. As I've told you, I'm going with Om Namah Shivaya. So it's sit like that, right thumb over left thumb, hands as high as they can go, side to the arms touching the ears, and why not have a golden retriever join you at some point to <laughs> really encourage you to inhale deeply through the nose. Lay down, mate. Good girl. Hello, you're blind, aren't you? You can't see nothing, you can't hear nothing, but you're alive and it's all okay. Do you want to lay down? What do you want? Just love. Is that the only thing you understand? Yeah, I know, mate. That's it. You lay down there. You're all right. Right. Let's do this thing then. At the end of it, we do uh, an inhale and a hold, and then exhale, an inhale, and then a hold, and then an exhale, an inhale, then a hold, and an exhale. On that hold, pull your abdomen in a little bit and tighten yourself up like you need to pee, you know? So just tighten up down there, clench just for a moment, and then you'll know if you're clenching the whole rest of the time and you're spending your whole life clenched, your whole life just clinging on, anxious, tense about something. Let go, man. But for that moment, <laughs> grip it up. Okay, and as you know, any Kundalini meditation begins with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo and ends with Sa Nam, Sa Nam, Sa Nam, three of them, three of each, three on the way in, three on the way out. Now, before I do them sat nams, we're going to do a little prayer. And I'm going to just pray sincerely in a personal way. And perhaps that's how you're praying. 
I've told you before, and I don't know if you were listening, that I pray for one, gratitude, two, to be awake in my interactions during the day, three, healing for anyone I know that's suffering, four, Lord, show me the signs, keep me attuned, five, be in alignment with the divine will so I don't get caught up in my own wants and needs. Of course, I'm not perfect. I transgress these things inadvertently by virtue of my primal nature. Oftentimes, selfishness comes, greed comes, but at least I know what I'm aiming for. At least I'm not just tumbling through life all of the time, even though there are fraught tensions within me sometimes. Okay, so I'm going for that. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 That's the one I'll be doing. Okay, let's get into it. Hong Nam Om Guru Dev Nam Om Hong Nam Om Guru Dev Nam Om Hong over left thumb, palms together, arms up to the point where your arms are touching. If for some reason you can't do that, just put your hands where you are comfortable. You don't need to be excluded. Perhaps you, I know people that don't have two hands, so you just do your version of it according to your body and your abilities. Okay. Remember, like, look at the nose there with the eyes nine tenths shut. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya 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 Om Namah Shivaya
You know, before we close out with a sat nam, a sincere prayer, bring your hands now down to your heart, thumbs touching your chest. Pull your chin in so your spine is straight, head, neck and chest in alignment. And use the word God as you understand that word God, as long as you're inviting a loving higher power. Could be your own consciousness, could be the love of a group you belong to, could be the love of a dead ancestor, could be God as conventionally understood through a variety of religions. God, I humbly ask that you connect me to my highest purpose. That you show me how I can be of maximum use and service to the people I encounter. God, I thank you for the life that you've given me, for all the advantages, and for the grace that you've shown in my life. Lord, I ask that today I interact lovingly with everyone I encounter and that I do not prioritise my selfish needs or the aspects of myself that with your help I can evolve beyond. Lord, I ask for healing in my life for all those that suffer from addiction, from those that suffer as a result of poverty, from those that suffer as a result of the corrupt and rootless ways that society has been formulated. Lord, I ask for signs that I can see my purpose. I ask for clarity and clearness that I can read the things that I don't control and what they mean even that that just happened. Lord, keep me in alignment with your will. Satnam 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 Amen. Thank you.